Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the signs and symptoms that ultimately led me to think I was pregnant and take that pregnancy test. I actually took it fairly early. My first one that I took, I was eight days past ovulation, which is the earliest. I think I did not take it that early when we found out we were pregnant with Samantha. Um, but because of these signs and symptoms and just things that were happening, I really felt like I was pregnant, so I was super curious. So I'm just going to go through and share them all with you guys. Um, pregnancy symptoms are so hard because they're very similar to the symptoms you also can get leading up to your period. So it's definitely not something you want to like get too caught up in and focused on, but it can be fun to kind of be like, if you're trying to conceive and you're looking forward to taking that pregnancy test, these are just some of the things that happened for me that ultimately led to a positive pregnancy test. Um, and I'm sure everyone's symptoms will be different, but I thought I would share as of today, a day of filming, I am exactly five weeks pregnant. So I found out I was pregnant when I was four weeks pregnant. Um, so these signs would have been like right after um, I got pregnant. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that I noticed was that I got really dehydrated and I felt like I needed water constantly. I was at the water park with one of my friends and her kids and I just remember feeling like I really needed water and food and things like that. And normally like I can go, I don't know, a little bit of time without having a glass of water just like throughout my day. But I just felt this constant need to be having water and food. So because that was not normal for me, it definitely made me wonder. So that kind of made me wonder just because that wasn't a common thing for me and it was a little bit different for my body to be experiencing. Um, and now that I am pregnant, I definitely do need water a lot more. And one thing for me during early pregnancy last time was that I could not go very long without food. I felt like I needed little snacks here and there. So just knowing that kind of added up. Um, but that's just a very little thing that you might not even notice. Um, or it might just seem like, oh, maybe I'm I didn't drink enough today or whatever. The next thing that I noticed, and I think this is a very common one that a lot of people experience, is I was very snappy, moody, and easily irritated. Um, again, those can be signs of your period coming because PMS is a real thing, but I definitely just felt myself being really easily irritated with my husband, and I just like felt like I wanted to feel anger towards him like I felt like I wanted to be angry and that's not like normal for me obviously like I get angry but like it was just a weird feeling I felt so moody and I did not like it at all so that was definitely a sign I just remember one day just thinking like I'm really mad at you and you haven't done anything that could definitely be a pregnancy sign okay well minute my daughter's waking up <laughs> The third thing that I experienced was cramping and I don't think I experienced this last time or if I did I wasn't really in tune with it but this time because we were like trying to conceive and I was tracking the days I was ovulating and things like that um, I really think that I actually had a lot of implantation cramping happen and so that was not super normal for me again can be a sign of your period coming but it did feel different um, if you're really in tune with how your body feels around your period then often you can tell if it's similar or maybe a little bit different these cramps definitely felt unique and so that was a, probably one of the bigger signs for me was the cramping the next thing that was definitely a big sign and I actually told her although I think I'm pregnant was because I had a heightened sense of smell everything smelled so strong to me um smells would really irritate me and it was like overnight this seemed to come on so i actually one day was telling her i was like every smell's been bothering me maybe it's because i'm pregnant um turns out i was but yeah that was a big one for me because i don't get that any other time like that's not a sign that my period's coming it's not a sign of anything it's only happened when i'm pregnant i get really really sensitive to smells so that was a really big one and that actually happened quite early on the next thing kind of goes along with being moody and irritated but that was just that i was felt extra sensitive and emotional and i would kind of reach that emotional state a lot quicker than normal so that's always a big sign for me too when I'm pregnant. Last time was just like my emotions being a little out of control, which again can be a sign of your period, but that was a sign for me. And then the last one, and one I don't even know if it was pregnancy related or not, but I just, and I think this actually might go along with my heightened sense of smell. I felt like I suddenly had really bad BO and like I smelled really bad. And if I didn't like reapply deodorant, I would stink. And I have never noticed that I 
stink before. I don't feel like I'm the kind of person who like has really bad BO. Um, and so I think it was a combination of maybe I did have bad BO or maybe I just was really, really sensitive to that smell. And so it bothered me even more. So it could have been either one of those things, but no idea. Anyway, I'm just looking at my list and those are basically all of them. So those are the signs is that I was really thirsty, easily irritated, extra emotional, had cramps, had that heightened sense of smell, and then I felt like I had bad BO. I don't even know if that can be something that happens. Like, can you get extra stinky when you're pregnant? I have no idea. But anyway, we are so excited to be pregnant. Those are just some of the early signs and things that led me to take that pregnancy test fairly early on and I'm excited that I'm happy that I did because it's really fun to kind of watch your line even get like darker and darker so yeah I hope that this was enjoyable for you guys to watch and if you are trying to conceive I just send all of the love to you I really hope that it happens for you sooner rather than later I know how hard it can be that waiting period um it's just tough so sending love and let me know what some of your early pregnancy symptoms are I'm really curious because I know that it can be different from person to person just like how pregnancy is so different for everyone so but yeah that is how I kind of guessed I was pregnant before I got the pregnancy positive pregnancy test oh, okay you want me to go okay all right guys i have to end the video here because my daughter is definitely needing some mama time but thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time and yeah bye